All right, we are underway again, and it is sunny. I am in a t-shirt. Ta-da! Amazing. We're going to a different anchorage uh, on the Isle of Skye, Loch Hardic. Need to look it up now. Loch Harport. No, oh, silly me. Loch Harport. Um, currently tacking um because we have to go into the wind um so yeah let me show you the sails it's not super windy right now so um it's going a bit going a bit calmly i'll say Okay, just oh, okay. Uh, just about to get into La Harport, um, and it's actually been a really great day. Like, obviously, I'm wearing a t-shirt, which is lovely. Um, also, right now we're going like five knots. Greg is working hard. Love you for that. Um, yeah, beam reach five knots, it, and the scenery is just like stunning. These cliffs. Uh, are truly, truly beautiful. Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, sailing, yeah, the sails are up. We are actually just leaving uh, the Isle of Skye today. Uh, I was anchored in Oloch Harport for, for a few days and I really liked it there. I think that's a beautiful anchorage, highly recommend it. Uh, good holding as well, so if anybody's up here in the area, you should check that one out. Also, I went ashore to the whiskey distillery there, which I might, this might be a big controversy, but I'm actually not a big whiskey drinker. I never really liked the taste that much, but I went in yesterday anyway uh, and tried some, and it, actually it was surprisingly nice. There you go. Uh, currently, we are, uh, I, this is gonna be a long, long day today. Uh, set off at six. Oh my God, I got up at half past five. That is way early. Um, but yeah, I just had some coffee and we are, we're doing a long trip today, 55 miles. So hopefully that all goes smoothly. Um, downwind sailing, which is lovely, best thing right now see the main there and so we've got the sails one on either side so I guess the wing on wing thing um, which is always fun but, um, junk rig goes pretty fast downwind so yay uh, what else I just saw a whale um, once it's so hard to capture animals on camera I'm just gonna have to whine a little bit um, it's so hard <laughs> um, but yeah so a whale. I think it was a um, minky whale uh, not sure though uh, yeah and today I'll just be enjoying my sailing and as as per usual doing doing all the normal stuff listening to music chilling eating yeah Wait for me.
I'm just passing through Kana, Kana and uh, Rum, the Isle of Rum, right now. So this is Kana right here, and then coming round. Oh gosh, gotta stand up. It's wobbly. That's Rum over there. With the sunshine, it kind of looks tropical. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's the sky way back there. Already come quite far, actually. It's gone well so far. Yeah. Also, the sun is shining, so uh, scarf is off, rain trousers are off. Sexy leggings. Um, yeah, Enjo enjoying the sun. I already slathered on some sunscreen as well. That's super important. Don't forget that. Yeah, ta da. So it's that stage in the day where I've looked desperately for a snack and I found a little jar of gherkins. And I didn't know that you spell gherkins like that actually. I'm surprised. But yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not the best gherkins I've ever had. Mm. The reason uh, why I'm doing this big trip today as well, these 55 miles, uh, is that today surprise amazing thing uh, is finally a northerly so it's the perfect day for doing a big push south and also another thing um, yesterday no the day before yesterday I discovered that my prop shaft or uh, the stuffing box more like was dripping a lot like I was pumping up the bilge uh, and there was more in it than there should have been um so yeah so yeah the stuffing box yes doesn't seem to be tight enough i don't know i've ordered some spanners i don't have the big enough spanners to to tighten up those nuts that are on the prop shaft so i've ordered those but um i've ordered them to a marina in on carrera uh, which is an island opposite from oven the town um, so I need to get there, um, which today's push is a big part of. I won't get there today, um, but maybe in a week. I, I think now I have to, when I arrive tonight, uh, I'll have to wait a couple days again probably to, for some suitable wind. Um, but yeah, as long as it's just a drip, it's fine. Um, it's manageable, but I am, I am a little worried, you know, it's stripping more than it should, that's for sure. Alright, I think this is a great opportunity to talk about the rig. Um, as you know, I've got two masks, but this is the forward one of the two, and I think I'll just be explaining on this one. Um, so, for anybody who's interested, <laughs> this is called a junk rig. Uh, the Freedom 28, which is uh, the model, the what my boat is, it's originally a cat rig, which is a different thing again. Like it's freestanding mast, but um, but still, the pre-owners they converted it to junk rig, freestanding mast. It doesn't have any any shrouds, um, no no fittings to the deck except the through deck fitting right there, so it goes down through the deck. Uh, the masts are typically shorter because uh, you have more sail area higher up. Um, there's some lines that go around the mast, up, up, up. Um, so those are called parrels. They hold the sail close to the mast, so, and they're adjustable from the cockpit. Um, but yeah, so one of the, them does the lower bit of the sail and one of them does the top bit of the sail and then there's also the yard hole which is this yeah well it's another line <laughs> that keeps the very top of the sail like the last the very last pattern 
close to the mast. Uh, they are all adjustable and you have to adjust them as, as you take the sail up as well. Like let them loose or take them in as you let the sail down or take it up. Um, yeah, if you have any more questions, let me know. Uh, I think it's a very interesting rig. I, I like it a lot. I, in fact, I looked for a boat with this rig, uh, so I wanted it, I knew that. Um, and yeah, so if, if you're interested, if you're intrigued, just ask away in the comments. I'll try to answer it with the best of my knowledge. I have arrived at my anchorage and it is so calm. So when it's quiet, you always whisper automatically or speak really softly, I guess. Um, yeah, it's super calm right now. Jump blind by the sun. Couple other boats here. But yeah, not too bad. Quite a nice place, really. Look at this gorgeous day. It's only like 10 o'clock in the morning and it's already really warm. So, I know what I'm gonna do. First swim of the year. Here I come, I've got my wetsuit on, I got it for Christmas and I'm gonna go for some now. Woo! Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna jump in. Very happy in Spanish. <laughs> I feel like a dog. that's it for this week thank you so much to everyone who watched subscribed liked commented i truly appreciate it i saw in some of the comments uh, some requests for me to elaborate more on the rig of this boat so the junk rig and i showed like kind of a basic explanation on all the lines that run to the sails but in the future i'll definitely show you more for example i haven't had to reef any of the sails yet because the wind just wasn't that strong but when that day comes i'll definitely show you yeah as ever links to my spotify and instagram are in the description i've got a new song coming out on the 2nd of june which i'm very excited about um yeah that's it see you in two weeks bye For someone,